So that question is regarding the Sidekick, which is a pre-programmed um, field map designed specifically for a pre-programmed boost map and specifically for 91 octane fuel. So the question was, if I run 100 octane in that, um, explain to me why we don't run correctly. And that's really a relatively complex, simple answer. Um, uh, octane is a measurement of fuel volatility, but what it really affects, aside from everything, is the speed that the flame front, flame front grows and creates combustion forces that apply to the piston dome and what time that happens. So the speed from the time of ignition that that grows is relevant to how, or at what time you actually apply combustion forces. So that's timing. As you add octane, you roll timing out. So I don't that, this is, I'm trying to think of the best way to explain that. I'm usually pretty good at putting things in terms that everybody will get. But the result is that the machine will, will trend very, very rich. It's a, some people would call it a richer fuel, but it's really slows the ignition timing down, you'll lose power, and you'll definitely run rich. And the reasons for that are because you've, yeah, you've affected essentially everything that it was calibrated to do with 91. So you, know, you can't, and in fact, that, that's a really good point. You can't run your stock snowmobile on race fuel either. It'll run like a dog. So <clears throat> take, I would invite anybody to effort to try that. Right. Take your stock snowmobile, put 110 in it, and then threaten to beat your buddy, and you're gonna look like a fool. So, yeah. So is the um, high elevation, low octane formula, or is low elevation, high octane formula still valid for the axis of water? High elevation, low octane. So, yeah. So, so this is a really good question, actually, and it, it opens up a bit of a... So you're splitting hairs. They've done better at mapping these things to prefer 91 at all altitudes, where the older units, like the Pro, you could actually pick up some performance by running lower octane fuel at higher altitudes. We, because your capture compression goes down at high altitude, your static compression goes down at high altitude, it's tolerance to lower octane is greater at high altitude, and your flame front growth and timing can be applied, probably more uh, optimized by rolling off octane a few points. Don't go out and put 80 octane Mexican race gas in your pro case, it's bad. But <laughs> it needs to be done very precisely, but uh, it all is relevant. You can achieve the same thing by minor um, changes to combustion chamber volume and, and ignition timing. But really, that's what we're doing. I'd say, no, the Axis really prefers 91, and a roll-off there could result in death. They're pretty edgy in that regard. So they, yeah, they've just gotten better at ignition and fuel control. Yeah? 